Hi all, this is the first video of API automation using Raysharp and Specflow series. So in this video we will cover how to install a JSON server. So it will be helpful for us to work with the APIs that we have created. So the first step is to install the Node.js on our system. So we'll go to this address and we'll install the Node.js. So you can go to this address and you can install the 32 bit or 64 bit installer. So I have the 64 bit. Now you can install this. It will take a couple of minutes. And after the installation, the next step is to open your command prompt and there we'll need to use this command npm install hyphen g json hyphen server so now this is done we'll click on finish open command prompt and we'll paste it here npm install hyphen g json server So this is also done now the next step is we need to locate our json file so we need to pass the complete path where we have our dot json data file so i have already created one json file also if you want to know the more details about the json server you can just go to this address google json server here and you can get all the details here can get the details how to install the json server how to use that from this website now i have already created one json file so i will open that so this is my json file and you can modify it you can add the list of friends here you can get the details here now the next step for us is to Use this command. I will copy this, go to this path. I will open the command prompt from directly here from this path only. CMD here and paste that command. JSON hyphen server hyphen watch and our path of JSON file. Showing one error in our JSON file, yeah. So, this is that error we need to remove. This we'll hit the command again, and it's working fine now. Now, I will open this address localhost colon 3000, and I can see the resources here. So, this is the list of friends, comments, posts, and profiles. Similarly, I can check using the postman also and uh, using automation script as well. So here I have already created one collection. I will hit this command so I can get the list of friends here. If I want to add a new friend, so I will use the post call here. This is the data. And I am getting the response 201 created. Now I will go to here and I will hit the command so i am getting now this resource is added here same i can check using this postman call so you can see it's working fine so instead of using the uh, other websites where we are having the free apis we can also create this and install this json server and we can work with the apis generally we use the sites like request response routing and we work with the apis so this is also a very good site from where you can practice the rest apis also the other option is to install a node.js server and then a json server and you can create your own json file and you can practice your rest api testing there 